We are very into Serie A and Liga, but we know almost nothing. So your point of view will be very, very important for us. So we uh, just played the, the derby, you know, the Manchester derby, and you are from Manchester. So of we course. would like to know uh, what team you prefer about United and City. What do you think about the match that ended 4-2 for the United? Let me wait to translate. Sto chiedendogli, ecco, dato che lui è di Manchester e che può darci un punto di vista unico sulla Premier League, dato che noi parliamo più che altro di Serie A e di Liga, cosa ne pensi lui della Premier League in generale e di questo derby di Manchester United e di City, che è finito 4 a 2, ricordiamolo, e cosa ne pensa lui delle due città? So, tell us everything you want about the derby and the Manchester football teams. Well, my personal opinion. I thought that the Manchester derby was a good game. Mm -hmm. It was a good game. Uh, but uh, when we watched it in England, uh, Manchester United, uh, in my opinion, they had two goals <laughs> offside. <laughs> and uh, they didn't discuss this on the TV. Yeah. They, didn't, they, they did not discuss this on the television. Um, Manchester City, uh, they're, a, they're an aging side. They're an old side, the game too old. And they didn't seem to care. When when they were playing the game, mm -hmm. they went one goal up, one nil up, and you know, after that, United scored and then they scored another and City didn't care anymore. Uh -huh. Which you know, if, if if I was a City fan personally, I would have been really pissed off. Mm -hmm. Watching that game, there was a lot of City fans who were upset about watching that game because they didn't try Yaya Torre uh, wait, wait, wait. let me translate uh, until now uh, dice che Manchester United ha giocato bene ma come dicono in Inghilterra è un po' pain in the ass cioè un po' uh, sempre che dà fastidio un po' una squadra magari un po' come la Juve ecco e il City è quel tipo di squadra che ti fa un gol e poi gioca come se non importasse like it doesn't care no the City Uh, è un po' atteggiamento potrei dire un po' come la Roma no? fa il gol e poi comincia a chiudersi aspettare infatti dice fa il gol lo United lo rifà il City poi si riferma ancora aspetta diciamo il prossimo gol per, per ripartire alla grande come sa fare you were talking about Yaya Touré Adam allora yes you, are, you were talking about Yaya Touré if I understand Yaya Touré Yaya Touré is a lazy bastard <laughs> <laughs> Yaya Toure, two years ago, was a fantastic player. Now, he just stands in the middle of the pitch, he does nothing. Inter Milan wants to buy let Yaya me, let Toure me translate. from Manchester. Sorry, sorry, let me translate this because, uh, you know, Yaya Toure is... Uh, uh, they say that it is close to be to go to Inter, to International. Yeah. Uh, we are talking so much about it and we didn't know about this thing, that two years ago was great and right now uh, it just works in the field. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he's, he's lazy. He doesn't lazy, try anymore. Lazy. Okay, okay. Two, two years ago, he was he could come forward, he would bring the ball, he would bring the ball forward, he would play it into spaces that you know precise passing that would set yeah. up the strikers for goals. And now he just doesn't care anymore. If Inter Milan are going to buy mm -hmm. uh, Yaya Torre, you know, he's an aging player. The buying. An old wreck, an old wreck ship boat, because he will just stand. The, the English league is fast, and this is what makes me laugh. I'm half Italian, you know that, Dandy. Okay. I, I, I watch English football, and all the English fans, all the all, all the English fans say the Italian league is slow. That is not true. Yes. They English fans, they they love the Premier League, mm -hmm. but when they're watching other leagues around the world, German league, Spanish league. Uh, French league, you know, they're not interested in those leagues, so they find them boring, you know, okay. and that's only natural. Okay, okay, I had to translate this because it is important. Sta dicendo ecco che gli aiutori due anni fa erano giocatori fantastico, perfetto. Invece adesso uh, molto dice lese, molto pigro in mezzo al campo, cammina. Dice se l'Inter, eh, perché sappiamo che all'estero no, l'Inter è conosciuto come Inter Milan. Se lo comprasse, ecco, farebbe secondo me un grande errore. E poi dice che, ecco, uno pensa che, diciamo che il campione italiano è lento, 
e che quello inglese invece è più veloce invece lui dice no non, non vede tanto questa differenza in alcune partite in alcune match sì e vede magari questa differenza più per uh, la liga più per uh, uh, la liga anche francese addirittura e dice quindi ecco dopo pensa che tutti i giocatori che vengono dalla Premier League sono questi fenomeni in velocità e scaltrezza yeah yeah go on go on you are going great yeah well no no the thing is I mean uh, I watched Juventus and Monaco uh, mm-hmm. the other night obviously my father who's from Rome obviously he yeah. supports Italian teams and uh, Juventus did well to beat Monaco but England well, is, is let, let me most... ask a question sorry how, uh, how much can you how much you think that Juventus can go further in the Champions League uh, I think Juventus can win the Champions League if if Oh, because because basically who thought who ever thought Inter Milan would beat Barcelona to win Champions League who thought that you have right you have right and it's yeah. in that year Inter Milan won the triplete it is uh, the National League uh, the Champions League uh, the National Cup so yes yes you have right yeah I mean I mean it, it, and no, no one we, uh, was accepting it And no, nobody expects anything, but um, with, with, with Juventus, with the manager that they have now, uh, mm-hmm. and the players that they've got, you know, the players that they've got, they've got exceptional players there, they can beat anybody on the day. They can beat anybody. Look, 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 look what happened to Bayern Munich, you know? Yes, yeah, yeah. They got beat 3-1. They looked very average, Bayern Munich. Juventus... They, they, they can beat anybody on the day. Anybody can beat anybody on the day. That's important. What's important is, the, we're talking about the English League. In, the English League is the most watched league in the world. Everybody watches the Premiership. Multi-millions. These, these, yeah. these teams get paid. Like, if you finish at the bottom of the table yeah. and get relegated, you get £60 million. Pounds. Yeah, 60 million. Mm-hmm. How many other leagues in the world <laughs> are like that? They're, they're not like that. And okay, the English okay. League is not even the Super League that everybody thinks it is. Because how many English teams are left in the Champions League? Zero. There's no English team in the yeah. Champions League anymore. Yes, yes. It's crazy. So you say that uh, uh, it is natural that there aren't... Uh, team on Champions League, uh, English team in Champions League, because uh, it isn't so in that quality, no? as uh, people can well, think. No. The, the English League is the, it's watched in America, Italy, Spain, France, everybody watches. For example, tomorrow we have Chelsea and Manchester United. Yeah. That is going to be broadcast across 92 countries, it's going to be watched by millions of people. And what are we going to see? We're going to see two teams that are, not, that are not in the Champions League. Yes. Because they're not good enough. <laughs> and it's, it's not the Super League that everybody thinks it is. I think mm-hmm. that Spanish, uh, the Italian, the Italians, the Italians always have people there in the quarterfinals. They always have teams in the semi final. They're always there or they're about. England, they were the same maybe a couple of years ago, but in the last couple of years, there's nothing. Why, why, why is the Premier League the Super League that everybody thinks it is? I don't think so. That's my personal opinion. Let me translate it because uh, it is it's very interesting what you're saying. Lipente dice che secondo lui la Premier League è la peggiore e dice per questo che infatti non, non hanno squadre in Champions League no? è la peggiore ma è seguitissima è molto seguita infatti dice Chelsea Manchester United sarà seguita da 95 paesi in tutto il mondo no? saranno i match più seguiti ma entrambe queste squadre non stanno in Champions e non sono dice quelle super squadre che uno si può aspettare no? dice invece le squadre italiane dice comunque arrivano sempre a lottare e guardi comunque la lot- se la lottano comunque mostrano un gioco dice specialmente la Juventus mostra uh, un gioco ha dei giocatori dice che può, può, far vin- può vincere contro chiunque dice, ha delle, 
singolarità no? che gli permettono sempre di poter fare la partita altre squadre invece della, della Premier sono tanti tanti insieme ma dice tutti average, tutti nella media diciamo lui la vede così dice che la, la gente in Inghilterra tende anche a guardare più la championship ossia la serie B inglese perché dice più è più emozionante e che dice forse in Premier girano troppi soldi anche quando dice le squadre non si permettono perché è vero che la Premier riesce a fare molti, molti soldi però non vengono dice dice quale dice quale altro uh, quale altra serie, no? quale altro campionato ci permetterebbe, dice anche una scuola che retrocede di prendere dice, dice abbastanza soldi dice non eh, dice comunque questi giochi non vengono ben gestiti dice non eh, e, e anche dice il gioco a cosa lui ne risente ok, and one question about your Newcastle, because you are from Manchester but you support Newcastle and it's going from a, a row of five loose so what do you think about it? What do I think about what? Sorry? Uh, you are a fan of Newcastle, no? You are yes, from course, Manchester, yeah. but you support uh, Newcastle, and uh, he's going uh, for uh, a five rows uh, lose, no? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's we've, losing. Yeah, we've lost five games, yeah. Yes. No, no, no. The, the, the reason um, I support Newcastle, of course, is because my uh, uncle uh-huh. ah, is okay. uh, Neil Theo. Yes. from uh, Newcastle <laughs> uh, um, when I watch Newcastle uh, every time I watch Newcastle there is one year taken <laughs> off my life uh, for every game I watch there is there's one year taken off my life uh, the, the owner of Newcastle <laughs> um, he owns um, big franchise superstores that sell sports uh, football boots basketballs god knows what all he cares about is money he, he doesn't want to sign any good players so at the moment Newcastle will never sign any big players will never be anything other than a mid-table team but I I have to accept that I have to accept that I can't change team that I support I just have to support mid-table mediocrity oh, oh, oh. yes yeah, yes I can understand you yes uh, let me translate because lui dice che lui sopporta Newcastle perché è suo zio mio zio anche uh, ti fa per Newcastle però dice ogni volta che la vede perde un anno di vita perché dice no, non si può vedere uh, dice che lui ha, che Newcastle ha molto molto uh, merchandising molto cose però non, non ha non ha giocatori non, non non sembra neanche dice interessata a poter scalare più la classifica rimane una squadra da età tabellone no? dice quindi dice quasi quasi ci viene voglia di cambiarla la squadra di trovare una squadra che possa comunque ambire a un progetto a fare un qualcosa quindi ce l'abbiamo tenuta abbastanza vogliamo ti volevo fare io tu oh ok so Maxi want to ask you uh, a few questions eh, ok Ciao, ciao Adam, uh, sorry but my, my English is very merda, shit. <laughs> uh, non te preoccupare. Ok, perfetto, <laughs> bravo. Um, I will translate, don't worry. <laughs> volevo chiedere se secondo lui eh, chi era peggio, il Manchester City o il Manchester United quest'anno? He would like to ask you if uh, what you think that how we hand about from United or City, we will go for the, we will be, we will go more up in the, in the chart. Well, who will do better? Yes, yes. Well, well, Manchester United are 384 million pounds in debt. They owe 348, well, no, 384 million pounds. And that figure, That number has not moved uh, for 10 years, maybe. Man United are selling the ground, the shares of the club on the, uh, on the Nasdaq. They're selling shares in United, which is ridiculous. Uh, and Manchester City have uh, an oil baron who has deep pockets. You know, the guy has got yes. unlimited money. 
if, if, if there was no such thing as FIFA fair play, Manchester